Guess what time it is? It's wine o'clock here at the Wine Man's. And I want to tell you about a new review for the Don David Malbec Reserve. This is the 2018 vintage. I've done a number of reviews of this particular wine over the years, uh, mainly because it's been one of my top selling wines for the last 20 years. And this vintage, it's no different. It's truly outstanding. Now, Don David, made by the Michelle Torino Group, they're based in a variety of different vineyard locations from Calchaguay, where this particular one is, to Salta and Cafayette. They have vineyards dotted all over the place. The wines they make are truly remarkable. This particular one, one of the highest vineyards in the world. Most of their vines are located at over 1,700 meters above sea level. That means that there's no bugs can really survive up there in that particular climate because it's, it's so high above sea level but also you have incredible ravages of heat now the heat will drive up the alcohol but then in the evening you get these lovely cooling breezes that come in and that just keeps everything a little bit cold in fact it can go from crazy ravages of temperatures to plus 40 down to minus 10 and it gets pretty much 365 days of sunshine which is quite remarkable so michelle torino had been making wines there for many many years and what we're going to do so we're going to have a little taste of this. So this is the colour. Look at that. Well, it is opaque. This is Malbec at its best. See the beautiful colour as I swirl it around there. It's got these purpley tones and yet it's, it's, it's ruby red intensity, but oh, crazy mad hair in lockdown. So it's got this lovely spicy toasty, ripe red fruit aromas. Are, uh, and because it's Asian oak casks, um, new oak casks for 12 months, it means that it softens the tannins that are there. Now, they're very much there when you drink them. They're very firm. It will coat your mouth. It will um, leave your tongue quite black <laughs> if you drink it. But that's because it's still a little bit young. It's 2018, but... And that's typical of all Malbecs, really. Mm, 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 mm. Wowza, this is a sexy time wine. This is, ooh, it really kicks in. It just coats all of the mouth. Lovely violet characteristics. Ah, oh, it's absolutely delicious. It's got, it's got a sort of a cherry hint and hit, but it's also, it's got a spice, and the spice very much kicks in as the background, and, and the flavour still lingering and lingering, and wow, this, this is really good. I can see this with spicy dishes, I can see it with, because of the right tannins, it's really, really good with spicy dishes, but also really, really good with meat dishes, as you would expect. Argentinian steak, this one's going to be a winner. The tannins are quite mid-level, mid to high level, so, but they're not like lip smacking and oh, drawing every tiny bit of um, saliva out of your mouth. They're, they're really integrated and, and quite, quite supple. So I highly recommend this wine. This is the Don David Malbec Reserva. It's absolutely delicious. The vintage, as I said, it's 2018. This is 14% in alcohol. It's got a really good backstory to it as well. And it's just a truly delicious wine. Proper uh, gnome cork, and uh, that's means it's good as well, just for, for keeping and for drinking. So if you want to get some decent Malbec in your life, go for the Don David. Cheers.